What's going on YouTube? Um, I'm filming a, a video on um, Palaeothoas and uh, I want to talk to you guys about the uh, Palaeothoa toxin. Um, you know, Palaeothoas are a larger version of zoanthids and uh, they, ca they, they contain one of the most toxic uh, substances known to man. And uh, I wanted to just share a brief story uh, with the viewers and uh, some of the, you know, new reefers that are considering purchasing these um, these types of corals for um, for your own aquarium. And the first thing is to, you know, if you frag them, like, you know, we get into fragging, you know, you want to wear gloves and uh, make sure you wash your hands and uh, don't wipe your eyes uh, because the polythoa toxin can get into your bloodstream through your eyes. Um, and while you're cutting them, it, they could, it could also, you know, uh, I've heard instances where people have squirted like some juice or something like squirts off of the, the coral itself and they get it on their skin. Uh, so I want to share a, a story and I want to talk about a, another uh, famous reef keeper and um, uh, Julian Sprung. He has a video where he talked about... Um, where a rock had fell down on you know this coral and uh, smashed it and uh, the toxins ended up killing all the coral in the tank and then along with that uh, killed almost all the fish that he had and um, he was doing a water change and transferring a tank and it ended up making him extremely ill and he had to go to the hospital and uh, the story that I want to share with you from my own personal um, experience is probably about seven years ago when I was in uh, Fort Benning, Georgia, I had this same type of coral in my tank. And this is before I watched the video and actually knew what happened to me, but uh, I did a water change uh, one night and got some water in my mouth from the tank. And what ended up happening was um, about immediately about 45 minutes later 30 minutes later I immediately started having some fever symptoms like the flu and I began to vomit violently and uh, my wife took me to the hospital and uh, we attributed it to the like additives that I put in the tank because I was dosing like magnesium and um, alkalinity and uh, iodine and, and I had just done a water change and I added all those additives into the tank and then we attributed it to that. Well, that night when I went to the hospital, I threw up so hard that it hurt my diaphragm, like every muscle in my body hurt. And um, I, I had never in my entire life threw up that hard. I threw up everything that was in my stomach and I continuously threw up. They had to put IVs in me uh, to keep me hydrated. And I was running a fever and I had a headache and everything hurt and I had cramps. And uh, it went on for like that for like two days. Now the vomiting stopped after about 12 hours. And then after I watched Julian Sprung's video on the, the Palaeothoa toxin uh, and talking about where they nuked his tank, um, that uh, actually made a light bulb go off. And I started to think, wait a minute, maybe that was what happened. You know, these uh, I had frag I had actually fragged this coral and uh, that day and uh gave it to a friend and then put it back in the tank and it didn't nuke my tank it didn't kill it didn't kill um any of the fish or anything which is weird but it made me highly highly have a high highly allergic reaction to it but if you're thinking about getting this coral don't be afraid of it many people have this coral lots of people frag it every day and, and trade it in the hobby and nobody i've never heard of have died from it but the the poison from this coral actually can kill you and it is deadly so you have to be very careful with it with fragging it and also with your rock work you know if you put big pieces of rock up there and something falls down on it and crushes it you know you could potentially kill everything in your tank so I just wanted to put this video out about this particular coral because I had some comments on somebody wanting to get them and I want to encourage you to get them I mean it's nothing wrong with purchasing them just be be safe there's nothing wrong with buying them and putting them in your tank as long as nothing crushes them and, and, and gets and disturbs the coral, it's going to be fine. It's going to grow and it, it's going to look very nice. You know, it's, it's a beautiful coral. Had I have, you know, I watched that video after I set this tank up and after I had put this coral in the tank. I didn't find this out until about three months of these corals being in there when I watched that video. But that's all just a short little information video on uh, the uh, on Palaeothoas and 
the potential hazards for them. But uh, you guys take it easy and uh, have a great weekend. Peace.